so echinacea, of course, very common herb, very popular herb. Everybody that doesn't even know anything about herbal medicine has heard of echinacea and generally knows that it does something to your immune system. Uh, so, uh, but echinacea is not just your immune stimulant for a cough or cold. I think a lot of the modern usage of echinacea has kind of watered down our perspective on really how powerful this herb is. Because a lot of people think of echinacea like, oh, use it at the acute onset of a cough, cold, or flu. And that's pretty much as far as it goes. Traditionally, this herb was not really seen as an immunostimulant as much as it was seen as an alterative. Again, a blood purifying alterative plus being an immunostimulant. So it was classically used again for the heat in the blood, a uh, discrasias of the blood, traditionally used for venomous bites. Again, if you ever get a rattlesnake bite, man, you better chug a lug a bottle of echinacea, put it on topically while you're on your way to the hospital. Um, but uh, this herb was used for sepsis. So if someone got, you know, a wound that went septic, they got the red streak going up the arm, that's a very dangerous situation. Echinacea was used for situations like that, okay? So that's a, a really serious situation. That takes a very powerful herb to be able to address something like that. Uh, sepsis, again, that's the red streak, that clearly like blood heat, okay? So echinacea is a very powerful <clears throat> cleansing for the blood, also for the lymphatics. I think of it as a lymphatic alterative. Very good for infection when the lymph nodes are swollen. Of course, a great portion of our immunity is in our lymph lymphatics. Uh, so it's powerfully stimulating the immune system, you know, raising all of those immunological complexes that are responsible for protecting the body. Also appears to have some direct antibacterial, antiviral properties topically. So it has some indications for usage of things like herpes, herpes simplex, cold sores, shingles, both important to consider using topically, but also internally to support the immune system. Whenever you get those types of um, herpetic lesions, outbreaks, when, when, those, when that virus crawls out of your nervous system, and you get the tingling and the pain and the nerve pain, you know, your immune system is working very hard. And so um, echinacea is a very useful remedy to consider for things of that nature. Again, the eclectics, the physiomedicalists, we're using echinacea like baptisia for very serious uh, diseases. We don't really see that much anymore, likely because of, um, uh, you know, I would say modern sani sanitation is a big part of that. Um, as soon as we got better sanitation in, um, you know, city environments and things like that, a lot of those infectious diseases just, just went down. Um, people aren't drinking, you know, dirty water, uh, things like that. So typhoid, scarlet fever, diphtheria, again, a lot of those things we don't really see too much anymore. Um, so powerful immune stimulant, lymphatic alterative. Good remedy, Echinacea. 